Hey guys, so in the previous session we have seen uh, the basic terminologies in the networking which we are going to use throughout our networking sessions and uh, we have seen uh, what is a Cisco Packet Tracer is and uh, how to install that uh, student version and uh, in this session what we are going to do is uh, we are going to implement a local area network okay so in order to implement a local area network we are gonna need one switch and followed by we are gonna need some three devices so we are gonna establish a LAN communication that is a one device is going to communicate with the uh, another devices which is present in the same local area network so let me continue with that and I am gonna show you how to implement it in our Cisco bracket tracer so as I told you previously I'm gonna need a switch so switch I'm gonna take a generic one or 36524ps uh, so whatever it is I'm gonna choose this one so this is a standard switch which we are going to use to establish a LAN communication uh, so in the forthcoming videos we will see what and all uh, these options are so uh, let me start with the little one so I have chosen a 35624ps three, three, switch and uh, I'm going to choose some of the you know end devices say I'm choosing uh, two PCs and say I'm having one laptop say I'm having one laptop so I'm going to make a connection you know between these uh, switch and uh, these devices so I'm gonna take this take this cable and I'm going to press it and connect it so as you can see uh, when I started connecting these two uh, devices which and this uh, NPC uh, see in this end I'm having a green LED glowing and in this side this red LED is glowing so what does uh, sorry that is not a red so that is some kind of orange thing and that orange light indicates that that switch is not up yet so as you can see when you place this cursor on the switch you can be able to see whether the link is up or not and you can be able to read the you know overall accumulated uh, detail of whatever the switch is having so in that uh, just look into the row one which is a fast ethernet zero by one the link is up and the IP address is not set IPv6 is not set and MAC address is there so after some few seconds as you can be able to see a green LED is glowing so which means that the link is up so likewise we can be able to make a communication or sorry establish a communication between these uh, switches and devices so as you can see this is one LAN network okay so this can we can call it as a one LAN network so in order to communicate between these two devices we need to mention some IP address right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one and uh, I'm going to configure it say I'm having the, the tabulation of uh, you know desktop I'm going to configure my IP say in this case I'm going to manually enter my IP address so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type 192.168. say 25.1 and whenever I press here I'll be getting my subnet mask automatically so in my case there is not going to be any you know default gateway what I'm uh, we all already know what is the default gateway the nearest IPs the sorry nearest routers IP is what the default gateway so we don't have a router in our case so we are going not gonna enter any default gateway here and we are not gonna have any you know DNS server in order to translate our IP address to some domain name so we are not gonna have the DNS server IP address also so we just mentioned our IP address and subnet masks so uh, this is for IPv6 configuration but we are doing it for IPv4 configuration so just after typing this just close it and just close this also and come come here and just open it and say configuration say 192.168.25.2 where I have mentioned 192.168.25.1 and this is 2 and this is 3 so I'm gonna be connecting this one 
so 192.168.25.3 and see subnet mask is ready and I'm going to close this one so I have assigned the IP address to these three guys so what it is so that is 192.168.25.1 and this guy's address is 192.168.25.2 and this guy's address is 192.168.25.3 so we have assigned the IP address successfully and we are going to establish a communication between these two papers say I'm opening this one and I'm going to the command prompt and we have a, a, our own special command that is ping 192.168.25.2 because we are in our PC 0 that is 25.1 that is uh, we are trying to ping this system in this system okay so ping 192.168.25.2 press enter so as you can see I can be able to get a reply that is reply from you know this PC of bytes 32 and time within 14 milliseconds so number of packets sent is 4 and the res and receive is 4 so there is no loss so there is no loss so this is how I can be able to see that there is a communication between these two uh, devices in a in a in the same LAN so this is LAN, within the LAN communication this is what I'm saying in the previous videos so I can be able to communicate with these two between these two and let me check with the next one so I'm opening this PC and I'm going to you know command prompt and and I'm going to try to ping 192.168.25.3 so this one so I'm trying to ping this system this system from this system so ping it just type enter and as you can see we are able to get a reply from this system so this is how I can be able to you know check the communication between the two devices in the same LAN so we have successfully implemented uh, our LAN communication okay within LAN communication so this is how you are you know uh, in our forthcoming videos we are trying to you know configure the IP address subnet mask and uh, this uh, you know DNS server default gateway default gateway we will be having when when we are having a router so it will go like this so obviously uh, you guys uh, should have got this idea about how we can implement this uh, you know LAN uh, so in this by doing this we can be able to imitate the you know real you know imitate the real uh, computer network model right so we have uh, you know visual we can be able to visualize what is happening between you know how it how the connection uh, between these two uh, systems is established so this is how we are going to you know extend our uh, uh, idea on this uh, cisco packet tracer so hope you guys liked it and uh, please do subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more upcoming videos thank you